So, I need to knock down all of the grass in our garden area, because it's grown up pretty, pretty bad. And I come out to grab the trimmer, and it was out of line. So I'm going to have to put some more line in it here. I'm in the middle of putting more line in it though. But I bought this uh, straight shaft attachment for the trimmer. It used to have the curved shaft and I really didn't like the head that it had on it before. But I bought this straight shaft for it and I really like the head on it. It's super easy to put line on. You just feed it through however much line you want and then you just twist it and rotate it and it self feeds. It's a pretty cool head, a pretty cool attachment for a trimmer. So I got to thinking and I'm pretty sure I forgot to winterize my trimmer. I know I winterized everything else, but I think this got lost in the busyness of life. So anyway, I'm going to try and spray some starting fluid in here and see if that can give me a jump start to get going, otherwise I might have to clean the carburetor because I forgot to winterize my trimmer. for the the glare on my camera there I know it's a little bit shiny this is poopsie for those of you who don't know and I always forget to introduce him this is my <laughs> younger brother that was, that was a little hard I'm that sorry. was a little hard this <laughs> is my younger brother who just comes for the free food that's right and sometimes he'll work a little bit on the homestead today we're going to try and till up the garden so we're just going to do a regular garden this year, kind of a... <laughs> I apologize, folks. I am so sorry. It's just going to be a regular garden this year. Um, I don't know if you want to call it traditional or whatever. But Poopsie and I, I, I weed whacked it a little bit earlier. And so now we're going to take turns tilling. Because that's going to be a workout. <laughs> hey, are you supervising? Annie, Annie, you're not doing a very good job supervising, you're not even looking. Here you is, Annie, Annie, Annie. There. Are you supervising the work or are you just eating the grass? So A was the letter of the week this week. Paul did a pretty good job. Sorry I wasn't making stuff up. So right there it didn't till. It didn't till. It didn't till so good. And that's why I felt it. Actually, I wasn't sure if I was just weak or not, <laughs> but I blamed it on rocks. Luckily, there was rocks there. <laughs> and I'm already sweating. Pretty good, actually. Doesn't take much, though. <laughs> this is a bad shot. The sun's right in our face. That's okay. We took a... Uh, <laughs> water break. It lasted 30 minutes? <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, so right now we've got maybe two-thirds of the garden kind of done. And then we've got to do this last bit over here. 
and then when we're all done, we might run through it once more to to make sure it's chopped up really good. We keep running into these, and it's slowing down the process. It's yeah. a rock. Yeah, there's rocks here, there, and everywhere. So we keep having to stop and... <laughs> there's only one post back there, and you hit it. <laughs> In the uh, things that we learned as we begin homesteading journal, we would like to add that just because the previous owners had it marked off as a garden spot does not mean it was a good choice. What, what did you say you thought may have been here while that stuff's in here? Uh, I said, I, said I think, I was kind of joking, but I said I think someone used to have a house foundation here because it's a big slab of concrete or something. Yeah, it's a big rock or something. Yeah, you just pull it. I just don't want to snap the handle. I know, that's what I'm saying, but when you're pulling, it was even over to like where that weed is. Grab a hammer. Oh. Yeah, there you go. I put that rock there, thinking it'd give me some leverage, but nothing moved then. Stick the rock right, like right here. Out. Isn't it so beautiful? I mean, I'm talking about the garden. Hey, <laughs> we've got one last pass to make. Polly tilled up probably 90% of this, but. Uh, like two -thirds. Here, let me walk you over here. So last year when we we planted about half of the garden here, I pulled out all of these rocks last year. And this year, tilling the other half of the garden, and then we were going a little bit deeper in spots. Uh, Paul and I probably got just as many rocks, if not more. And, oh. So single, in single head over extension, single hand, single finger. Anyway, we have one more pass here. I don't know if you can tell; it's right here that we got to make. Some of the ground is really good. If you could see this here, I mean, this. I'm pretty sure this is like potting soil that that they had put in here. It's really dark, um, and it's really really fine. And then other parts, uh, kind of back where, kind of back where Paul's standing. A little bit more chunky. Did they see that mammoth of a rock we pulled out? No, I don't think they saw that. It was there were two huge slabs of concrete we pulled out of here. We're not talking like we're not talking huge. We're talking huge. It took both of us lifting. One was like six inches deep. Like one we put it on a wheelbarrow because there's no way we we're carrying it over there. Yeah, big chunks of concrete. So we've tilled up after we make this last pass. We've tilled up the whole garden, and I might come through one more time before we plant on uh, some of the chunky spots and try and uh, make them look a little bit nicer, get them ground up a little bit finer. But we knocked it all out this afternoon, so that's pretty good. That's not bad. After this, I told Paul that I'm going to be a gentleman and let him take a bath first. For those of you who might be watching us and thinking, those guys have no clue how to operate this tiller. The tiller, the, uh, the forward gear is stuck. So it, when you turn it on, it just goes. And there is no reverse gear. My dad bought that tiller probably 20 years ago at a flea market. For like 70 bucks and it wasn't working for forever and he finally put a new engine on it I'm just I'm so nervous to have you in the background 
All they're gonna hear is the wind right now. <clears throat> but he finally put a new engine on it and he lent it to me. So we've been, it did a, it did a good job for our little garden area this year for being such an old tiller and having a new engine and only being stuck in the forward gear. So we had fun today. Poopsie worked hard. Thanks, Poopsie. You're welcome. Poopsie has a YouTube channel. His computer broke down though, so he That's, hasn't... Yeah, I haven't posted for like a month, but it's... It's only halfway because I'm lazy. <laughs> the other half is I don't have a computer to post anything on. So. But you can go check out his channel. It's Poopsie101. Poopsie101. Go check it out. Thanks, Poopsie. Yep. Okay, I think we're done for today. We're going to clean up our tools. We're going to get some glorious hot baths. And then we're going to eat dinner. Hi, Daddy. Hi baby. Are you helping mom? Yeah. All right, good job. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. I think that's all we've got for you today. We'll talk to you next time.